All right, now you got to stay with me for one last section, and then you can start the class. By the way, if any time in this intro you have to pause and take a break, take it, pause it. I'm trying to get get through all these sections, um, um, get through all these sections right now with you. So if you need to take a break, that's okay. Take your break, and then you can you can play this when you're ready. But what I want to do in this section here is uh, I just want to touch base on. Um, on playing to win and the playing to win to-do list. Now, team, we talked about how important it is to play to win, but you know, um, playing to win is gonna require you to do certain things, okay? So very, very, very important that we, we do certain things to win. All right, uh, so, so let's talk about that. Let me see here. As I as I go through this here, yeah, let's let's talk about playing to win. Okay, uh, number one, there's things that you could do before the class, and at least you should do um, before you test. And I think number one, if you're really playing to win here, you got to do this homework. You got you got to do this, the top 100, and that means go through these terms. Yes. Now this is something you can do before or after your class, but this is this is the pre-workshop homework. It can be done before or after this class. And the recommendation is to start with the terms bolded in black. You do the terms bolded in black first, and then you add on the rest. Make sure you do this. As you go through the class, you're going to see a lot more vocabulary. This is page one, this is page two, this is page three. There's going to be a lot more vocabulary that appears in the questions, okay? and you know throughout the practice exams so you're going to get more exposure to this vocab and these phrases so we're analyzing this test now looking at it on a word phrase level and don't worry that will make more sense as you do do the class but basically this is the vocabulary that you're going to see this is a little bit more detailed list this is there's no pre-workshop homework for this list a lot of these terms phonology morphology syntax uh, semantic syntax discourse, pragmatics, a lot of this stuff, is, this, this stuff will be in the class. Many of these ideas, right, are in the, are on this sheet here. Uh, uh, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, phonetics, right? So this is just a more detailed list, but, but your goal before and after you do this class, before and after, is to use this pre-workshop homework and to use this list and to review this tier three vocabulary that's important for your test. Thumbs up. Very important. Um, here's something else that's very important. Uh, let's talk about during. If you do this class, you have to be an active participant. Now, I'm placing this here because I've actually already listed some things that you can do to be an active participant. Uh, number one. <clears throat> You can submit your team poster. That's what they do when they go to the live class. Everyone submits, everyone creates a team poster. So that's one way to be an active participant. Here's another way to be an active participant. As you go through the class, as, as, as you work through these different sections on the class, right? As you go through each question on the class, uh, you can actively participate by commenting, being a teacher that adds feedback and, and comments as you go through the section. That's a way of participating, right? Here's another way of, that you can participate. As you go through this class, you can actually participate. I mean, do it in 30 days. Team, don't be the teacher that calls up on day 29, right? Like the class is gonna end in like two days and be like, I didn't have time. I didn't participate. You're essentially saying, I didn't participate in the class. That's gonna be, that. I mean, What's going to happen is this. Go Academy is going to be like, so you didn't do the consultations. You didn't, you didn't do the videos. You didn't do the team posters when everyone else was doing it, including me and everyone at Go Academy was working with teachers on that. You, a teacher consultation, that's how you can participate. Teacher consultations are a great way to participate, right? Let's, let's just stay positive. I'll come back to this slide in a moment. But, but th these are ways to participate. I, I have a, a slide on, yeah, you get it. Teacher consultations, right? So, so many different ways to participate. 
Don't be the teacher that calls up the last day or two before the class, a week before the class. And it's like, you know, I didn't do the videos. I didn't do the comments. I, I wasn't able to do the teacher. I didn't do the attend or participate in the consultations. I didn't submit my class poster because essentially what you're saying is that you didn't participate. You missed it. And if you do that, that's, that's your choice. And that's, that's, I mean, I get it. It's your choice, but the class is over at that point. And so you missed it. You really did. You'll have to sign up for the next class at that point because everyone else was working through it and participating and active on it. So don't be that teacher that, that gets swept up over the next 30 days and doesn't, doesn't do it. Okay. You need to be able to do it. So, so I'm asking you to <clears throat> participate and be an active participate. Do not disappear for 30 days. The game will be over, right? I need you to be like Carly Lloyd here. And I need you to play the game for the next 30 days. Okay. All right. Uh, something else you can do uh, after this is done. Well, you already know, you've already watched how to watch these recordings, right? So, and you already know about the pre-workshop homework, but you can do this stuff again. Like after this test is done, you can go and you can review the vocab, redo it. And after this class is done, you can go through those practice tests. And by the way, um, I'm going to be adding in the 79 practice test that just came out two weeks ago. It's got 100 multiple choice questions, really good one to study team. After this class is done, you can take a look at that and do the, and do these practice exams. I would say out of the stuff that's here, uh, put reading first, doing the 54 test, doing the uh, 60, 56 test. So this is the ESL, right? Everyone should do the ESL, everyone should do the SEI, and everyone should do the new bilingual education exam, 79 that just came out two weeks ago. Uh, these are the three exams that you should do. And that's like 100, 100 questions, 60 questions, 100 questions. So that's like more than enough practice team, right? After you're done. That's something you can do after you're done. So team, this is going to be a very active uh, 30 days or three days, depending on how much time you're giving yourself to finish this, okay? Um, you can start now start now you have uh you're getting this on a thursday you have thursday friday uh bonus days uh you can keep on studying on saturday and sunday uh you know just start now uh, get a jump start on it remember that um you have 30 days to go through the the class recordings okay now, the, the pre-workshop homework stuff doesn't go away, so you can still access the, the terms and the practice exams after the 30 days, but the 30-day class does end. It has an ending, okay? So it's 30 days after we begin, so make sure, make sure you have that. This class doesn't have the webinar components, but you do have the teacher consultation piece, so if you have questions, I want you to call in during teacher consultations, okay? All right, team, I appreciate you making it through this, this extended intro. I get it. It's long. Um, but now you're ready to start, okay? So when you're ready to begin, I want you to go to that first section on similarities and differences, okay? All right, team, uh, good luck. You can do this. I'll see you at the end. You can do this, team. All right, take care. Actually, I'll see you throughout the class, all right? Um, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.